Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for choosing WIS News at Midday. I'm meteorologist Chandler Jordan out of the First Alert Weather Center. Two beasts of a storm that we're keeping an eye out for in the tropics. Thankfully, Franklin far away from the eastern seaboard, but still as of this afternoon, a category four major hurricane. But again, it stays far away from the eastern seaboard. So our main and real concern still remains as Hurricane Adalia. And we're starting to see some intensification in the Gulf of Mexico of the if you look closely at the satellite loop, you can actually tell where Adalia is trying to clear out and have an eye wall and eye created. And that tells us that currently Adalia is going through the process of intensification. And it makes sense because waters in the Gulf of Mexico are very rich and very warm. The sea surface temperatures of some of the buoys that are deep in the Gulf of Mexico, anywhere from 85 to almost 90 degrees. That's bathtub water pretty much for tropical tropical development. So all the way up until the moment that Edalia makes landfall, there will be intensification of this storm. Unfortunately, and the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center has Edalia making landfall as a major hurricane within the big bend of Florida. Category three storm as the latest projection from the latest advisory with maximum sustained winds of 125 miles per hour and it'll continue to move towards the Palmetto State Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. We'll start to see some outer bands make their way into the Midlands and low country and that'll continue overnight Wednesday and into the early hours of Thursday morning, still bringing impacts as a pretty strong tropical storm before eventually curving out into the Atlantic and heading towards Bermuda, but definitely though for us across the Midlands starting to see some tropical storm watches and warnings issued all these counties that you see in the pink and the low country or excuse me in the yellow. Those are tropical storm warnings and then a lot closer to home. We've got tropical storm watches in place. This includes Clarendon County as well as Orangeburg County and all of these counties that you see in green. These are flood watches that are in place as well as we start to see more heavy rain build into the Midlands as we get closer and closer to the impacts expected from Edalia. Thankfully today though, not too bad out there. We've got some scattered showers and thunderstorms that are starting to build into the southern and western portions of Lexington and Richland counties. You can see the thicker cloud cover out there. So even if you're dry, you still have a mostly cloudy sky and it's still warm and humid. Mid and upper 80s across the Midlands, 86 right now in Lexington, 88 in Sumter, and even as warm as 88 this afternoon in Camden. So we'll continue to have scattered showers and thunderstorms across the region at times throughout the rest of the day. Our high temperature, if you happen to stay dry a little bit longer, tops out around 90 degrees. Otherwise, you're in the upper 80s through the rest of the afternoon. So just keep that in mind as we head through the rest of today. Go ahead and get everything in place that you need to. But we'll be focused more so on tomorrow and two of the main impacts we'll have to worry about, of course, gusty winds, very heavy rain that could cause localized flash flooding. And for all of these counties in yellow, there will certainly be the opportunity for a brief tornado or two, typically with tropical landfalling systems, especially on the right side of the storm, which is a little stronger. We have the opportunity for one or two of these to develop. And again, the best chance being all of these counties in yellow, especially to the south and east of Clarendon and Orangeburg counties and also quite a bit of rainfall can be expected with this system. And you can see where the center of the storm is aligned with some of the swaths of very heavy rain that we could have. And it's a very fine line as to who could potentially get a half inch to an inch of rain. And then you build into the Midlands and especially into the low country. All these counties that you're seeing in orange, anywhere from three to upwards of six inches of rain possible as Edalia blows through the region. So go ahead and get your preparations done and finalized. Best news though in the Silver lining once we head into Labor Day weekend looks pretty good out there. Mid 80s Saturday, upper 80s for Sunday. Labor Day, nothing but sunshine, high temperatures near 90.